what I do is I participate in international art fairs that take place in New York, Miami. I've done shows in Boston, out in the Hamptons, in upstate New York and Rhinebeck. I have curated shows in public art spaces in Manhattan, as well as at St. Peter's Church. I just recently had an exhibit at the City Corp Center on 53rd Street. So I'm always looking for other ways to intersect people's lives with the artwork and the artists that I carry. When I first started, I was like, oh my god, how will I find people? But over time, um, I've run ads in Art in America, Art News, the New York Foundation for the Arts. With the art fairs that I do, you tend to get thousands of people that come to them. A lot of them tend to be artists. So after those, I get a lot of portfolios submitted to me. So I get portfolios from artists from around the world. Um, I go through each and every one of them and respond and let people know. To me, the artwork has to capture my soul. It has to make me feel something. And that's going to be the only art that I represent in my gallery. Um, you know, it has to have a unique voice, a unique vision, something that I haven't seen before. Plus, it has to make me feel something either positive or negative, but feel something when I stand in front of it. Um, I originally started it more as a virtual business, really online and private showing as I launched the gallery in September 2008. And, um, well, I've lived in Riverdale for a long time. Um, I grew up here, lived in the city, and then moved back about 10 years ago. Um, 13 years ago. And there isn't really a contemporary art gallery in Riverdale. There is Wave Hill that has a great art collection. There's the Hebrew Home that also has an amazing Jewish art collection. But there isn't currently a contemporary art gallery here. And it is such a cultured and affluent area, plus just such a multicultural area that I felt like it was really something that the neighborhood needed. So I felt I had a great opportunity to be able to bring something new into the neighborhood. What I love about the area on Mashalu Avenue is the multicultural nation, na nature of it. I'm right next to Felix and his Russian deli and down the street from the Russian embassy and down the street there is American and Chinese and Japanese and Mexican and Italian and you've got the entire world just all on this block and it's so eclectic and so multicultural that to me it felt like it was the right place to have a gallery. It was a little bit edgier and on the outskirts than other areas of Riverdale might be and I loved being a part of the community and over the um, past year and a half that I've had the gallery here it's been amazing as I recognize faces and really have become part of, I feel, the block here, the community here. I have parents and children that wave to me as they go by and other people that are always coming in and like you and seeing the new exhibits. And it really feels like I've made a positive impact on the community, brought something new, and the appreciation that I hear from people as they come in and they say, oh, I didn't know we had this, or I love what you brought here, or, or I walk in and it's always a breath of fresh air, then I really feel like I've accomplished something of giving back to the community and giving back to where I am. It's also been great down the street as the Riverdale Neighborhood House and I've been able to host some groups of kids and teenagers here at the gallery. And to me, that's such an important element of it. It's introducing kids to art and hearing how they interact with it and what inspires them so that they can go and create that on their own and have it be a positive impact in their own lives. I have a wide range of eclectic people coming into the gallery. I have those that live in the neighborhood and down the street, whether they're parents with kids or um, students or firefighters, or I've had people from Van Cortland Park and park um, rangers coming people, in. And, some and people come in and they apologize for not having money to spend. Anymore. 
And I just love the opportunity to be able to share the work and if it's positively impacted their life and given them an opportunity to see and to feel something when they interact with the art, then to me, you know, I've, also, I've by being done what I've has. set out to accomplish. Amazing people that I've met come in. I met someone who um, introduced me to St. Peter's Church and their art collection, and that's led to other things. So to me, he was a little bit of an angel that found me and came in, and that was just incredible to you know, have a gallery space here and have someone walk in who then has helped change and alter and grow and evolve my life and what I've done. Um, so I feel like I am a welcome oasis and I always look forward to the people that walk in the door and who I meet because I never know how I'm going to impact their life or how they're going to impact mine.